This is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I'm having a bit of an off day, uh, but I just wanted to show this uh, briefly. Here goes this, the, the, the North Pole, and let's just uh, go up and we can see all of this area here. This is within, I would say, uh, maybe 600 kilometers of the pole. And you can see how it's it's breaking up, and here it's not exactly crystal clear, um, but you can see kind of what's happening. So I don't really see too many signs of a. Um, of the uh, the refreezing that everyone's sort of talking about, um, yeah, the sun hasn't yet disappeared, but it'll be very low in the sky, and this is how it looks. So there's a lot of cloud, uh, but there are a few areas of um, clear sky which enable us to see what the true position uh, This is uh, the sea ice thickness over the last uh, 30 days going into uh, a prediction forecast period. So uh, I find it really hard to uh, tell anything from those GIFs because they're far too quick. So I've just extracted this and this is uh, the 21st of August, uh, the thickness, and this is the latest data that's available. Um, on the 5th of September. Uh, now I, again, I can't, it, it's very hard to compare. So what I've done is this, uh, so you've got the 21st of August on the top, so on the left, and you've got um, the 5th of September uh, on the right. Now if I have a look at that, it doesn't really, there's been a lot of talk about refreeze and uh, quite frankly, I don't see it. So I just did this uh, rough uh, markup and uh, this shows more or less uh, what you would see on NASA World View if it weren't for the cloud cover. So essentially what I've done is a very rough markup and this is how uh, things uh, would be looking. The, this is the true area of uh, sea ice extent that's left. Uh, this area is full of slush, it's very thin, there are lots of holes in it. Um, so had the cyclone happened just a few weeks earlier than it did, I would suspect that all of this ice uh, would have gone. So um, some people might be correct in saying we've been saved by another year. Well, I don't quite see it in those terms. So if you compare it with that, this is what uh, the National uh, Snow and Ice Center Data Center are saying is the... Um, is the sea ice extent.